Hola, yogis. Welcome to join us today on my beautiful terrace again. And today we are going to have a summer flow. <laughs> I wish every day is like a summer day. Um, yeah, just like its name, it's gonna be light, vibrant, chill because it's like a late summer afternoon. So we'll just enjoy this fluid flow, this chilling, playful um, summery flow with us on this on my beautiful terrace. Wow, let's start with the ring bell. We'll just start in the center of our mat. So, as we are in the center of our mat, come into an easy seat. Bring the shoulder blades together. Open your chest wide. Take a big breath in. Enjoy the summer breeze. Close your eyes, feel into yourself, feel into your body. Take a big inhale, lift your arms up. Gaze up or gaze closed and bring hands together, bring it down. Bring the energy back to heart center. Two more times like this, then we will start our flow. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale. Back to heart center. One more time, inhale. Lift up. Feel the lengthening of your torso, of your rib cage, and bring it down. We'll kickstart our flow. Now we will extend our left leg all the way out and to the side. Keep the right foot where it is. Just bring it closer to our pubic bone. Make sure both sit bones are grounded on the mat. And sit up and tall. We'll do a side stretch on the right side. Right side stretch. Lift your right hand up. Inhale and exhale. Reach all the way towards the left side of the room. Try to reach your uh, left toes but you don't have to touch them because I don't want you to round over. We will come to this later, but right now we'll just focus on the side stretch. You can play a block here in front of the knee to lift your elbow up or just bring your elbow on top of your side or your shin and just rest your head, your neck on your left hand while reaching your right hand all the way towards the left. Like somebody's pulling you, you know, towards the left side of the room. Big inhale and big exhale. Big breath comes with the sensations. Uh, the sensations comes come with big breath. You can even rest your right arm on your head. I just let it hang. Feel the earth pulling your right elbow down. Mm. It's a little bit windy today, so I feel like this fits the scene of this summer flow. And now we'll round over, just gaze down towards your left shin. We'll just come into a forward fold. Feel the side stretch of your right lower back. And now you can reach your right, left foot with your right hand. And from here, we'll do a little vinyasa, like a little wave. Take a big inhale, open your chest up to the sky. Your right arm follow and exhale, we we'll fold down. Two more times. Inhale. Open your chest towards the sky and exhale, fold back. One more time. Inhale. Big inhale and big exhale. Now we'll stay here in this folded, seated fold. 
in three rounds of breath. Maybe come join us. <laughs> My dogs love to join me in my beautiful yoga sessions, so I like to call it Doga. <laughs> this is probably the welcome to center, and now we'll change to the other side. Bring the left leg in and extend the right leg all the way out. Okay, side stretch, reach with your right hand towards your right foot and open like externally rotate your um your torso open up to the left and inhale lift the left hand up exhale bring it toward all way all the way towards the right side of the room place your head on top of your right hand to rest your head and just reach Make sure don't fold your torso. Here we still stick to the side stretch. Let the left arm hang on your head. Relax. Close your eyes. Feel the side stretch. It's a lot of tensions, you know, normally in stored here on our lower torso, around the waistline. It's good that we do some stretch around this area. Now fold in, gaze down towards the right shin bone, and we'll just fold deeper. A few rounds of the wave. Inhale, open the chest towards the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, open. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, open, exhale, fold forward, and we'll stay here for three rounds of breath. Mm. Super juicy. Mm. And gently lift yourself up. Take inhale, lift yourself up back to center. Now we'll bring the soles of our feet together in this seated Baddha Konasana butterfly. Just a little shake of the knees, let it open, and you feel like to fold in. Take a big inhale, open up your throat, your chest, and we'll gently hinge forward at our hip, not at, at our lower back. Hinge forward at our hip level. Mm. I really like to do a lot of hip opening, hip stretching, lower body stretching um, practices or flows. Feels so good, like it is right. A lot of our negative emotions are stored there in this area so to do some you know like to do a regular stretch routine it's good to also decompress our you know emotions bring out the stress and come back to center now we'll come into a tabletop so we'll flow it out knees slightly wide wider than hip distance and arms slightly over the shoulders. So we'll start from child's pose. And tuck the chin into the chest. Exhale here. Until your shoulders go over your wrist. And bring the feet towards your glutes. Kind of dip your hips down. Feel the stretch on your front side of the thighs and bring the hips back in child's pose. Three more rounds. Tuck the chin in and we move forward. Bring the feet in 
towards the glute, open the chest towards the sky. And push the hips back into child's pose. Come forward. Bring the feet over towards the glutes. Take a big inhale. Exhale, push it back into child's pose. Take a big inhale and exhale. Tuck the chin to the chest. Come forward. And dip the hips. Kind of like a um, high cobra with the knees bent. And bring it back into child's pose. Stay in this child's pose for three rounds of breath. We'll have a little smooth transition into the next section of this summer flow. Come into a downward facing dog. Gently lift your hips up. Bring the chest closer to the thighs. And lift your hips up, up, up toward the sky. Keep the knees micro bent. Try to reach the heels into the mat as far as you can. And from here, just bring the right leg, bring the right knee behind the right wrist and the right foot behind the left hand. Adjust your left leg to extend it out long behind us. Come into this half pigeon pose. Just balance on top of our hips. Don't try to go on the right side. Just square off, come to center. Don't worry if your right shin is not parallel to the mat. It's totally fine. It's really up to our um, flexibility and bone structure. I can never really uh, bring the shin bone parallel to the front of my mat, you know. But doesn't matter. It's also stretching my glutes. It's always stretching my glutes and stretching the areas that I want to stretch. Mm. Stay in this high uh, half pigeon. Shake side to side. Feel you know, like when you shift your weight onto the left, how it feels. And to the right, how it feels. And if you feel like, lift yourself a little bit higher up. Bend the left knee. Bring the left foot closer into your just reach with your right hand of your uh, left foot. And if you can, bring it closer and bring it into your left armpit. This is called like king-footed pigeon pose or half-footed king pigeon pose. I don't actually remember this name, but I love this stretch. It's like very intense, also stretching the front side of my left leg. In the meantime, my entire front tier of my torso. And gently let it down. We'll come back into a downward facing dog. Slowly transition back into a downward facing dog. And we'll, we'll walk out. In our downward facing dog, relax the right leg, feel the difference. <sighs> relax the lower back, side to side. <sighs> and now we'll come to the left side. We'll bring the left knee and left foot behind the right, left and the right hand. Try to bring it parallel, but it doesn't really matter. Square off your hip, extend your right leg out behind you, and come up tall in this half pigeon. Shift your weight side to side just to feel. You can also bring your body your torso down and feel more. Deep stretch on the outside of your left glutes. The sensations are slightly different 
when you go up and down. Now we'll just bring the right foot closer to my body. <laughs> Try to keep the balance. My right side and my left side are totally different. The flexibility. Try to bring it closer. <laughs> it's tight here. Open and breathe. Always breathing. Relax. We'll come into back into a downward facing dog. Relax your left leg. Your lower back. And gently, very small steps, walk all the way to the top of our mat next to our wrists until we come into a forward fold. Now we dangle here in this forward fold. Keep your knees slightly bent just to protect, you know, like the don't overstrain your hamstring. Let the crown of your head drop down towards the earth. Hold the elbows of each arm. Shake side to side. Yes or no? Hmm. Feel the decompression of this pose. Super duper functional, effective pose. This forward fold. In the meantime, we are reversing our blood flow and we are stretching a lot of our body areas and we are like letting the blood flow of the head going back towards our head, you know, like back into our brain. <sighs> Extra clarity. And then we'll just... Come into a standing pose. Keep the knees slightly bent. We'll just roll our upper body up. Keep the hips where it is. Just very gently even. Have your hands on top of your lower back. Come into a standing. Wow. This is perfect summer flow. With the breeze from the sea. Oh. I feel like a little bit of dancing mode. <laughs> Alright, now we'll come into section 3. Come on to a little bit of balance. We'll play a little bit of balance in flow, balance in poses. Just to have a little bit of fun. Now we'll come, bring our weight on to our right um, leg. And bring the left foot into the ankle or shin or inner side and keep the pinky edge of the toe of the pinky toe firmly into the right side inner side so that you can open your I'm just gonna shift over to you so then you can open your left knee out to the side three pose keep the balance can lift your arms up, feel like a real tree. Roll your branches out. <sighs> and now we'll just interlace our hands and we try to hold the outer side of the left foot and bring it closer to the body first. Flex the toes and then Kick it out. Standing pigeon. Feel the outer side of the left hip stretching. Wow. And then in the meantime, keep the balance. Kick the left foot into the hand and pull the hand into the left foot. This counter forces. And oh, sorry, it's, it's not like that. Let it go. Let the foot go. Just slide. I just sliced. And lift your arms again up. And bring it, bring the left foot on the outside of your mat to the right side of your mat. And hold the left wrist with your right hand. Side stretch. 
again. Keep your chest open. We'll come back to center. Shake it out. <laughs> Let the legs relax. We'll come to the other side. Bring the weight on the left foot and lift the right leg up. Three pose. Inner thigh or shin or ankle, you know, you can just, based on your flexibility, balance, balance capability, challenge yourself. Okay? And press into the left inner thigh with the edge of your right pinky toe. Just like, so that you can open the right knee to the side. Three, three, three. Grow your branches out. Suck in the energy. Grow, grow, grow. Wow. I feel so tall. And interlace the hands. Come to take the baby, the right foot. Flex the toes and kick it out. Standing pigeon pose. Can even shake side to side, play, be a little bit playful and creative. And release here, gently release here. Lift your arm tall and bring the right foot all the way to the left side. Left hand on holding the right wrist, pull to the left side. Side stretch. Push the hips towards the right and the hands towards the left. See how that feels. And come back to center. Shake it out. <sighs> one, one flow of sun salutation. We just salute to the sun. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, come into a plank pose. Stay strong in this plank pose. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Upward face dog. And downward facing dog. <sighs> and then we'll come into the top of the mat. Fold forward. Halfway lift, fold forward and gently lift yourself up, arms up, salute to the sun. The sun is white, shining on my face. Now we'll come back to the center of the mat, legs a little bit open, heels in, toes out, goddess pose. Bend the knee as deep as you can, flare the knees out, just shake Side to side. Mm. Feel the openings of your hip bones. Dip the shoulders. Right shoulder and gaze back and change side. Left shoulder, dip the left shoulder and gaze back through over the right. One each time. Open the knees to the side. When you dip the shoulder, you can also in the meantime push the knees away. And the left. Hi, Skandansana. On the right, high, basically it's called wide legged squat. Hi, Skandansana. <sighs> or you can just like halfway squat or you can go down to the bottom as you wish and move to the left open the right toes toward the sky and to the right one more time each each side and wow so windy And now we'll come into center again. Mm. 
it will just come into a goddess pose in the center. Lift your arms up and down. Straighten your knees and heel toe your feet in until they are a little bit wider than hips, toes out, heels in. We'll just bring our sit bones down into a malasana. <sighs> Open up your lower body. Spine tall, crown of the head. Reaching all the way towards the sky, wide sit bones, all the way towards the ground. Push the knees open with your elbows. We'll do a little bit of funny, uh, not funny, like fun, creative, malasana, vinyasa. So, take a big inhale, tall. Oh, the wind always scares the doggies. And exhale. Chin to the chest, head resting in between your shoulders, and push your arms away like this. But keep your lower body the same position, just like lengthening your tailbone towards the mat and chin tuck into the chest, and your head resting in between your arms. Inhale, lift. All again, malasana. Exhale, stretch forward, round in. We'll do two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Stay in this exhale position. And then gently bring your sit bone down onto the mat, very gently. Until you totally sit down on the mat and bring the legs in front of you in easy pose. We'll come back at the center, right how we started. Hands, palms up, resting on your knees. Keep your eyes closed slightly open. Just feel the environment around you. Feel the nature around you. Feel the presences around you. For me, it's my bows, doggies. Feel them. <laughs> they are present around me. And feel how you feel after this flow. How do you feel after this flow? Wait, take a big breath in and out. Blink your eyes open if they are not. Look around you. Feel, just think life is beautiful. Summer is beautiful. Having a flow in the beautiful summer time is beautiful. Sweat a little in this hot season. It's beautiful. Everything is beautiful. Bring the hands together, thumbs at the third eye, and bow down to thank yourself for taking this time to take care of yourself. Namaste. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Muchas gracias for um, ser aquí, for being here. Um, con nosotros with us. And uh, I'm having a very beautiful sunset view here on my beautiful terrace. And I just feel so, you know, like refreshing after this flow. And I hope you enjoy the same way like I did. For more flows, you're welcome to subscribe to my channel and I'll bring you more fun, playful and uh, diverse.
diversified flows every week. See you in my next vlog. Bye. Thank you.